Good morning, Herman. Happy to see you. This is the sweetest cat. He loves belly rubs. Oh, I love him so much. Good morning and welcome to day 61 on the AT. My name is Mosey and this is Rissa Romes. I uh, tented last night at uh, the Quarterway Inn. I love it here. I don't want to leave. Um, yeah, this place is special. Um, I may ask Tina <laughs> if uh, next year they'll think about hiring someone uh, to work here <laughs> to help out during hiker season because yeah I don't know there's just something about this place I really like so it did rain last night unfortunately so got a rag towel to dry off my tent so I don't have to carry a soaking wet tent today um, I was the recipient of trail magic which is so kind someone paid for my stay here um, gosh I just <laughs> I can't believe how generous people are. Um, I have my suspicions of who it was. Uh, <laughs> there are a few groups of section hikers that uh, were here last night. So, yeah. But, only through hiker here. I'm definitely behind the crowd, but I was talking with Tom last night. He's not that far ahead. He just keeps hurting that knee. I'll catch up to him. <laughs> my goodness, who are you? I haven't met you yet. You are beautiful. Oh, hi, baby. Oh, I love you. Just left the quarterway in. It's about 9 a.m. later than I wanted to get going, but had to enjoy breakfast and talked with Tina for a little while and a few section hikers. And now we're rolling. Got a 14 mile day, but like 4,200 feet of elevation. Uh, pretty chill for most of the day and one long hard climb at the end. Let's see how this goes. We're back in the normals. Happy to have them back. All right so now that we have settled on a pair of shoes I just kind of wanted to talk about them. So when Michael came uh, the night before this and picked the North Face shoes up and brought me my normals back. Um, he was kind of asking, you know, well, what's the next step? Um, topos are out, ultras are out because the drop is too low. Uh, you don't want to try hokas because you're worried about durability issues. I know a lot of people who uh, within a few miles um, have holes in them and just don't want to deal with that. Um, and then Solomon's are too narrow, North Face is too narrow, like what's next? And I told him like, we're done. Um, I'm not gonna try any more shoes. There's nothing actively wrong with these. I know a lot of people have been concerned um, and think that new shoes are gonna fix my issues that I've been having. Um, Achilles is an overuse injury. Um, it was doing better when I switched to the Solomon's, which had an eight mil drop. These also have an eight mil drop, um, but I pushed myself too far and I also haven't really given my body time to rest and recover and I haven't really decreased my miles. Um, my Achilles is doing okay right now. It's not great, but it's not debilitating. Uh, I've seen people out here with a lot worse Achilles tendonitis than me pushing 20 mile days and um, I'm not that stupid, <laughs> so um, that isn't happening. Um, so yeah, so we are settling with the normals and I just kind of want to talk to you about the shoe for a minute. At this point, I have put about 300 miles on this shoe. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, once again, it's not perfect, but I haven't been having any active issues with them. They have an eight mil drop. Um, they are made of a really nice material. Um, my feet actually don't get as dirty with this. Um, my feet still get wet, they're not waterproof, but um, this material just kind of blocks the dirt from coming through. Um, and my feet just don't get quite as gross as they used to. Um, they're pretty comfy. Um, they are designed for durability. Um, they've tested some of their shoes, uh, specifically I think a running shoe, and it lasted over 800 miles before uh, it needed replacing. I don't know that I expect that out of this, um, but they are designed to be repaired and um, to replace the soles. 
and um, yeah, this is a company made by Killian Hornet, who is a um, an ultra marathoner. He was an elite runner for Solomon and then started his own company. Uh, they're holding up pretty good. The tread looks great. Um, once again, I've put about 300 miles on them at this point. Um, the heel is kind of ripping a little bit, but you know, it's been 300 miles and that's all I've, the damage <laughs> I've had so far. So not too shabby. I also want to say this night the normals made me <laughs> some new friends. Um, I rolled up to the shelter tonight or this night and uh, we were talking about my shoe situation. I mentioned I had normals. Uh, night Vision and Nodder are huge fans of Killian. They know about his shoes but had never seen them. They were super excited <laughs> to see them um, and so we <laughs> talked a lot uh, about just ultra marathoning and Barclays and um, this was kind of the spark of a, a brief friendship out here. Uh, they're faster than me, but um, they're people I could see myself being friends with um, even after this is over. So that was cool. Just stopped for a lunch break at Not Mall Shelter or uh, Darth Mall Shelter. Uh, shout out to Pony Boy and Purple. Um, that's what they were calling it. And yeah, I'm with ya. Um, yeah, just stopped for lunch. Um, breaked there with Barefoot and Chaser. And now we're moving on. Uh, in about three and a half miles there is Lick Creek which is um, my first uh, creek I'm gonna have to actually ford so um, people a few days ago said that the water was low hope that that still remains the case um, it rained a little bit last night but hopefully not enough to uh, change that. It's been dry the last little bit. Um, it is supposed to rain, I think, for the next several days, but I just always kind of anticipate rain. And if it doesn't rain, that's a happy little surprise. Um, so, yeah, pushing forward, and then after that creek crossing is when we have the big climb up to Chestnut Knob Shelter can't quite remember the name of it but that's where we're headed also forgot to mention this when I left the quarter way in Tina said to be sure to send her a postcard when I finish and I asked her um, if she would consider bringing people on during hiker season to help around and she said she hadn't done that uh, in years past, but has been thinking about it. Um, and she would put my name down as a person of interest for that. So I don't know where I'll be in a year, but um, who knows? Maybe I'll be doing a stint working there. I think I would love it. Beautiful place. I'm too social for my own good. <laughs> I try and like move fast and then I run into people and end up 
talking forever. <laughs> Just ran into two section hikers, Sprite and Firestorm. Uh, nice meeting them. They're actually headed to the quarter way in. Um, not tonight, I think they said the next night. Uh, and I told them to enjoy. All right, so here we are at Lick Creek. This is the bridge that washed out. Luckily, the water is not very high. We won't be crossing right here. I'm gonna go up a little bit more. Yeah, so they do have this rope for you to hold on to. I don't think that that's gonna be necessary today. I'm debating whether or not <laughs> to change my shoes. I think I am, just so I don't have to wait for my shoes to dry out. <laughs> um, I don't think this is concerning enough to <laughs> be worried about wearing my slides. I think they'll be okay. Yeah, water was barely ankle deep, so no concern there. Um, felt good to get the feet in some cold water though. Changing back into the shoes now. About to start the climb up to Chestnut Knob Shelter. Got 4.7 miles, over 2,000 feet of elevation gain. It's gonna be long, but it's gonna be okay. <laughs> uh, I'm feeling all right. My feet aren't perfect, but they aren't bad. Achilles hasn't bothered me today while I've been hiking yet. Um, it was a little rough this morning when I first woke up, so yeah, we shall see, but oh, ready to settle in. Yep. It was just raining, but right as I made it up to this clearing, it stopped. Oh, it's pretty. by some misty mountains over there. We've got a little pond over here. Oh. Some section hikers told me the spring here is the only water. Um, there's none at the shelter. So I'm gonna stop here and fill up. Got about two more miles to go for the day. Rhododendron blooms always brighten my day. I haven't seen any in the last stretch. Made it to the shelter. What a beautiful sight.